Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to today's Spotlight. We're doing our Let's Dabble Artist Spotlight with Ryan Schmidt. He's a new artist. Well, not new, but new to the show. This is your first year. No, I'm fully clothed. Yeah, I'm not a nude artist. New N-E-W. <laughs> <laughs> but he's incredible. He does these amazing, and I'll take you around to see some of his stainless steel sculptures, but they're pretty awesome. But how, so first of all, where are you from? I'm from Arkansas. Because you're going to hear the twang in his voice. Like, right outside Little Rock. There so, we go. Been an artist. I have been. <laughs> I always ask that question. It's such a big question. I've been an artist my whole life. I say that because I started very young uh, with origami, mm -hmm. and uh, moved into like painting and crafts and so stuff like that. So when you were like a kid, you loved just kid. putting the origami. Sure. And, mm -hmm. Were you obsessed and, with that? And Legos and constructs and um, you know all the the building things. Yeah. And my father had a playground business, so I grew up in that uh, wood, metal, plastic fabrication, uh, along with custom remodeling and custom decks and and everything you could do on the house and awesome. you know in the art so and in high school you always <clears throat> got into painting and drawing in high school after uh, after realizing that I wanted to study art you know in college uh, I took a wide variety of things so I went from uh, figure mm -hmm. you know painting drawing uh, some live you know live draw some yeah. uh, perspective stuff got into color and design um, did and a, then some a, metal? A, like, how did you get into the metal? Well, I got into printmaking for a couple of oh years. Goodness. Got into so um, quite the gamut. ceramics for a couple of years as well, sculpture and a little bit on the wheel. And then um, moving into bronze for a few years oh before transitioning into stainless because it holds a polish. And that's, I did that wow. when I got incorporated back in 2002 doing landscape sculptures and water fountains. I'm going to show you some of the, look at this one, it's a wall thing. I mean, it's, it's things I've really never seen before, fish. It's wall relief, yeah. It's a wall relief, you call it. And I love that finish. So how how did you get into this? The, I mean, did you have a mentor or someone that you followed or is it just something you've developed? Yeah, I, I started playing around with sheet metal um, hmm. That's kind of and, amazing to and, jump. And also, mm -hmm. well, I was doing sheet metal work simultaneously with cast work, with the bronze, and uh, I did a piece in, in aluminum, and then from there I figured out I needed to be in stainless because aluminum doesn't hold this polish. That makes sense. And, uh, and it's a little stronger and more uh, maintenance-free for interior, exterior oh, pieces. That's true. You know, and in, in the application for water feature or landscape. So. so you probably do a lot of that too. Like, so he's pretty amazing. So he's like in the process. Of, you do some monumental, sure, large any size. I know you, we always say we can create any size you want, but is that kind of what you really want to do? Is that the goal? Of, the direction you know? is leaning more towards yeah. uh, public, monumental. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, where do you try to corporate from? big corporate projects too? You know. Yeah. So. Where do you where do you figure out how you like, where's, what's your inspiration come from? <laughs> well, I'm sketching and doodling just from a, a brain uh, thought, not not necessarily from looking at anything unless uh, it's a client that wants something specific. And outside of that, if, it, if I'm just free form, then um, it's you know it's a doodle or a sketch. You. Let's show them some of these cool, very contemporary, and then this. It's really and shiny, love it. <clears throat> Shine, and so this is just kind of you sketched out this first before you correct created it in the metal. So this was this piece was on a napkin at a sketch mm -hmm. in a restaurant. I love that. And on the East Coast, and it was you know a lot of times the sketches turn into sculptures, and yeah. quite a few of them actually never see the metal. They just they remain in a sketchbook. So, you know, you, sometimes you just you have, uh, you know, ideas that come together and uh -huh. you, you figure it out and it, it goes and then That's other so ones uh, come to a stopping point or they never get started. Do you do a so. series of, like, if this be, became a very popular piece? Sure. You do I'd multiple. probably do a series, but, you know, they're, all, they're still unique pieces because mm -hmm. they're hand fabricated. So just because I do the same design again, and I might do that up to 12 times, yeah. you know, per, per design. Tell and us about the process. So from the napkin drawing to the sure. metal, what's the next step? So I use an overhead projector, kind of old school, mm -hmm. and trace out my pieces, you know, proportion-wise on a larger piece of metal. And then I freehand cut everything out with four and a half inch grinder. 
and wow. clamps and straps and tension in the piece and mm -hmm. uh, clamps. So these are the old school wood clamps. Should we go out sometime before the show's over and look at his, he set up his own workstation. Like, what do you call it? Like, it's full on. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a it's a mini compound. <laughs> It's in the parking lot of the show, these giant lights, and at night he could hear them grinding away. I think we all need to go see that. So we'll maybe, yeah. yeah we'll get you a tour <laughs> here shortly. Today or tomorrow, we're going to tour where he actually works and does it, because I bet it's really cool. But yeah, awesome. then we could actually watch the process. That'd be so awesome. But yeah, so just wanted to, to introduce you to Ryan. Um, this is his space. Look at the red carpet. Love it. <laughs> He's always dressed to kill, too. He dresses up. That's awesome. And yeah, this is his whole space, and that's another little piece. What is this? What? So this is not stainless. This is uh, going to be cast. Gotcha. So the idea was to do this on a much larger scale, mm -hmm. something in the 20 to 50 foot size. Mm -hmm. so. so you start off small to see. Mm -hmm. Do you always do that? Like you work it out small and then make it big or is it just... No, no. Sometimes I work directly in a 12 foot scale for the first time on a design. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Later, and I'll show you his studio and where he works, but yeah, this is Ryan Schmidt. So tell us your website. Soulartinc.com. S-O-U-L-A-R-T-I-N-C.com. Awesome. And that's the same for his Instagram and Facebook handles. So check him out. He's pretty cool. All right. All right. Talk to you guys later.